Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for September 7th, 2021. Let's see what we have going on for today. Stop throwing catchphrases at each other. <laughs> That kind of, you know, there's a whole thing in my video about how we treat one another and how things that from a societal narrative standpoint, we've been told this is a great thing to say to somebody, but you're not taking into account everybody's experience. And I was given the example of um, somebody who's been scapegoated in their family, in their workplace, uh, with their friends. There's a little bug in here. Okay, it's summertime. What you gonna do? Um, <laughs> but when we say um, phrases like, good people attract good people uh when we say good vibes only when we say what's the common denominator if everyone around you is saying you're a bad person then you must be a bad person that could push a scapegoat over the edge someone who is already getting it from every angle i mean i've had plenty of examples of this in my own life but i'll use one um that's kind of not in play anymore and that was in a work situation where there were these horrible rumors spread about me um, so there were all these lies going around about me but for the most part I was shielded from it like people were being very secretive on top of it and then I found out and then from there people thought that that left them free to punish me for what they heard about me it was really horrific it was evil it was absolutely evil um, and it was one of the biggest, most unbelievable examples of scapegoating. Everything was my fault. Couldn't do anything right. I'm a terrible person. I actually had a boss who was just so evil that she said to me that nobody likes working with me and that my very presence upsets everybody. That was a very dark time for me because of all the conditioning, the similar conditioning I had gotten um, previous to that experience. And all it was was that this woman was jealous and bitter and resentful. <laughs> like um, she got caught in a lie. She was trying to get out. You know, it was, oh my God, you guys, the chaos. You wouldn't even believe it. But if someone had come to me at that time and said, well, what's the common denominator? Everyone here seems to not like you. So you're the problem. Do you see how that can make somebody just completely flatline? Just completely lay down and just go, I can't anymore. You know, leave me alone. Stop kicking me while I'm down kind of thing. So just be aware of that. I feel like some of you have to hear that. Some of you have to hear it because you experience it. And some of you need to hear it because you're one of the ones out there doing the toxic positivity. But I don't think you're toxic people. I don't think you are. I think you're listening to toxic people. Okay. So I want to lay that down so that we can have some awareness and maybe wake up to it. We'll figure out a better solution together as we go along <laughs> we figure out where things are going be gentle with yourself all right so again I was just saying you know when you're kind of getting it from all angles and you just kind of lay down and say okay I, I just I'm gonna take some time for me this is what we're talking about Archangel Michael please guide me in treating myself with gentle nurturing love and everything I think speak and do and genuineness okay genuineness um help me know that i deserve this compassion i release any feelings of guilt to you so that i may experience lasting inner peace this very much feels like the the recovering scapegoat that's what this feels like if you again most empaths as far as the information's come through me take it for what it's worth um it's my understanding that there's always sort of that light worker or the empath that gets sort of born into families or end up in workplaces or friend situations where everyone's pretty dysfunctional now the empath the light worker can have their own dysfunction but they do kind of end up in that place where everyone's threatened by the contrast you know this is the black sheep is that a sheep on there that's a sheep it's a white sheep but like if you're the black sheep of the family you're the oddball you're the one doing everything differently from everybody else and everybody else is kind of threatened by that. They can love to hate you. They make sport of it. Just because it gives them a charge. Just because it, it like gives them a sense of power to sabotage somebody. This is your day, scapegoats. 
Because when you recover your power and your sense of self and your sense of worth, you are the ones, we are the ones that change the world. And then guess what? You get all the phone calls. Hey, oh my God, you're doing so well. Or you're getting the, if people only knew who you really are. We all know. And they start tearing you down. They're making up this narrative about you. You know, that sort of thing. So it is your time. It is your time to heal. Get with some proper resources, some professionals. If you need therapy around this, I will tell you flat out, I am in therapy about this long process there's a lot I'm doing a lot of trauma healing but um you know get in there and start doing that work you deserve to live a beautiful life and you know what you will because I'm telling you (laughs) you are the heroes you really are so we're gonna leave it there I'm sending you all so much love and take care